Hi, and welcome to today's topic. Today we're going to be looking at two other financial calculations done in Excel, PPMT to calculate principal and IPMT to calculate the interest paid. Now, it's quite simple to do this. We use the function equal PPMT. We still use a rate of 9%, so we're gonna divide that by 12. Now, what's interesting here, this is the thing that changes from uh, PMT to PPMT. Now, the payment period, we know that there are 180 payment periods in our uh, loan you know, repayment. Now, as you can see here, this is the payment period. There are 180 months in our total loan repayment, and we can go and find out at every payment period how much principal we've paid on that loan and also how much interest we've also paid. So I've now set up this and I've left it as one. So this is going to be the first payment. How much principal am I actually going to pay on my first payment? Now, <clears throat> the payment period is 180. The present value is the amount that I'm borrowing. And the future value is going to be zero and the type is going to be zero also. I'm just gonna close bracket. <clears throat> now you can see that in the first month of me repaying this loan, that is the principal that I'm paying. If I change this to another payment period, so let's say, you know, the 100th month, then I can see that the principal that I'm paying is more. And that's generally right. As you go into a loan, you pay uh, more principal towards the end and you pay more interest at the start. So that's how you calculate PPMT. Now to calculate the interest, you use the formula IPMT. And again, it's the same kind of thing. We're going to deal with a 9% interest rate, divide that by 12. We are going to look at our first payment period. So we're going to have uh, this cell, which is driving that. Our total payment periods. Now, you cannot have the, the number in here greater than the total payment periods. Otherwise, the formula will not work. Our present value is going to be our loan borrowed. And then we're not going to worry about a future value. And neither we are not going to worry about type. So I can see that on my first payment, the interest is much greater than the actual principal. But as I get to the end of the payment, the opposite occurs. The principal paid is much greater and the interest is much lower. Anyways, thanks for watching this simple tutorial on how PPMT and IPMT work. See you next time.